so today we are going to learn about acute apical periodontitis if you haven't watched the part 1 of it so go first watch it because it has all the basic related to uh, this topic so you will understand it better so now i am going to talk about acute apical periodontitis so let us see first clinical features so clinical features include thermal changes doesn't induce pain because pulp has already undergone necrosis so the thermal changes will not going to produce any pain extrusion of tooth from the socket tooth is a little bit extruded out of the socket it is feel like uh, it is not in the occlusal plane it is little bit more upward from the occlusal plane tenderness on the mastication is seen and there will be severe pain so next moving forward to radiographical feature so in radiographic features you can see it is appears as normal except there will be widening of pedial space so as you can see this teeth this root is normal except everything is normal just there is a widening of the pedial space if you can see it clearly let me zoom it you can see here is this pedial space i am tracing and there is a there is a inflammation you can see this is the radio lucent area this radio lucent area is indicating that there is a inflammation of pedial space so next moving forward to histological feature so when we talk about histological features so we will see there is a dilatation of blood vessel as you can see this 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 there is all dilatation of blood vessel and there will be inflammatory infiltrates as you can see all the things which is present in between are the inflammatory infiltrates and this is our usually usual dentin so this is the typical picture of histological features of acute peri periodontitis so when we talk about treatment there are different treatment are available first is sedation occlusal grinding sedation occlusal grinding if there is inflammation due to trauma if a person has bruxism or having that uh, atresia abrasion in all this uh, scenario we will use sedative occlusal grinding which will prevent the occlusal trauma and result in reduce in inflammation of the pdl and the another option is rct that is a root canal treatment or endodontic treatment we will do root canal treatment and we will remove all the pus or the uh, exuded which is present at the pedial space so this is the another treatment and lastly the tooth extraction we will extract the teeth only